Hey everyone, Daywalker Entertainment, aka Chris Shokin Keen here with part two of my Spider-Man PS4 game review. This time I'm going to be reviewing the first DLC story mission, DLC story pack, The Heist. <clears throat> now, before I begin, there will be spoilers in this, so if you don't want to be spoiled for The Heist DLC story pack, then don't watch this video. This is just a final warning. I'll give you a chance to stop watching the video, buy, get the highest yourself and play through it, then watch the review. But for those who have played the highest DLC, then... <clears throat> well, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Now, I will explain it as best I can. It's not going to be easy, but... <clears throat> I will try my best. Try to find a good way to position this. There we go. Anyway, uh, now about the heist. This takes place after the main story. Spider-Man is doing his uh, usual routine of securing the city at night. Until MJ calls him and tells him that there was been there has been a uh, that there are goons at the museum. So Spider-Man decides to go and check it out, see what's up. <clears throat> and he sees Hammerhead's men there. Yes, the mob boss Hammerhead has ordered his men to break in to go into the uh, museum in New York to find something there. After taking out the man, he Spider-Man decides to go inside and see what's up. And he decides to check out the camera to see what's going on. And, um, well, again, I am trying to explain this as best I can. I don't really remember much of the mission. So I apologize if I don't, if I, if I miss out on some things. <clears throat> but anyway, he soon, again, he, uh, more goons, or, I don't know, what was it? Actually, he finds out that they are after a painting for some reason. The Hammerhead Sagoons, Spider-Man finds out they're after a painting in a museum. And he's unsure why. So he goes to check it out. But unfortunately, there was a security wall. And, which is bullet, a security glass, which is bulletproof. But he doesn't find out until Black Cat appears. So yeah, Black Cat makes her appearance in this game. And well, um, he wonders why she's doing this, and she reveals that the uh, painting has a has a hard drive in it. Before before he could do anything, Hammerhead's goons break through the museum and start attacking, and start stealing some stuff from the from the museum. So Spider Man has no choice but to. You know, ignore the whole thing and just, and just uh, take them out. And after he takes out the goons and stops them from stealing the uh, museum stuff, he go he goes back to the uh, to where Blackhead is. But unfortunately, she is gone. Blackhead is gone. She's ran off with the hard drive, leaving the painting destroyed. So he decides to get. He tries to get more information about what she, why she's doing this. Sorry about that. Um, he tells MJ about it, and she decides to look into it, but with no such luck. So Spider-Man decides to. <clears throat> look. So while Spider-Man is doing his routine, saving the city and stopping crime, MJ gives him. I think MJ finds out the location of where Black Hat's at. So Spider-Man decides to take check it out, but again, Hammerhead's goons are there. So Spider-Man decides to so after taking them out, he uh, looks around, looks around, and Blackhead. But when he opens the door, she pretty much ambushes him, takes him to the ground, holding him, holding a statue. And that statue has another one of Hammerhead's hard drives. 
And Spider-Man wonders why she's doing this. And she says she Hammerhead has her son before throwing a smoke bomb. Or no, no, not a smoke bomb. A uh, flashbang. Not only blinding Spidey, but also... If I'm doing that, I'm getting notifications from Discord. I mean, I have the Discord app, so yeah. <clears throat> but anyway, Spider-Man is wondering who her son is and who is the father. And he's worried that it might be him who's the father. And throughout the whole DLC story pack, he uh, is reluctant to tell MJ on what's happening. And he's, you know, trying to figure out why Black Hat is doing all this because... He wanted her to stop being a thief. And well... Stupid Discord notifications. Anyway... <clears throat> eventually, he decides to tell MJ about what's happening about that... He decides to tell her about Black Cat or Felicia Hardy having a son. MJ is, of course confused at this point but decides to help help him help spider-man and well MJ decides to get some leads on a missing child while but to no avail again it's been a while since I've played the DLC story pack so I don't really remember a whole lot of it I am sorry guys, if I pause or stutter, then I apologize for that. It's been a while since I've played the actual story story pack, so yeah. But either way, Spider-Man of course decides to, of course, anyway, Spider-Man's doing crimes again, trying to, you know, stop, you know, he's stopping crime, doing his usual routine. Of, you know, stopping crime and saving citizens. You, you know all that. And that's when MJ decides to point out a supposed location where Black Cat's son is being held. So, he decides to go to check it out. And to his surprise, Black Cat is there. Okay, you know, actually before that. Before the whole thing. Before he tells MJ. He, of course, has to. Spider-Man wants to uh, find out who's, who the father is. A black cat refuses and throws an EMP, disabling his web swinging and having to chase Cavill Black Cat on foot. Eventually, it goes to the subway and Spider-Man gets hit, is able to web swing again and catch up to her. And he wants to know who the son, who the father is. Now, I don't know what Black Cat says in this. Again, like I've said already, like twice um it's been a while since i've played the story mission pack so or the story pack it's been a while since i played the heist that's all i'm gonna say it's been a while since i've played it so i don't again i don't know much of it oh my god but i apologize for that but anyway so after that spider decides He's gonna get a pick me up and orders a pizza, which is just something silly that they that's in the game. So while he's enjoying pizza, MJ is, you know, sneaking past, sneaking through a uh, Hammerhead check or Magia checkpoint. Yeah, that's why I forgot to mention Hammerhead's crew is called the Magia. So she sneaks to a checkpoint to get information, and well, Spider-Man comes in, of course, MJ already finishing up what she wanted to do, and so, again, he did, MJ finds a supposed location where her son's being kept at, or I think Black Cat finds out the location, and so both, so Spider-Man decides to check, both Spider-Man and Black Cat decides to go check it out and see what's uh see if it's true and they first take out hammerhead's men and black cat decides to go 
go and check the main building while Spider-Man decides to check the storage containers. To which he finds out that the Magia actually have Sable International's weapons and armor. And that's when he's ambushed by the Magia with the Sable weaponry and vehicles. So after he takes them out, he goes to find Black Cat and finds a safe. When he looks in, when he looks in, when he looks inside, Black Cat's not there and sees a case that had a hard drive in it. And that's when he figures it out that Black Cat lied about her son and she and she ends up blocking him in the safe. And of course, obviously Spidey's not happy about this. So Black Cat pretty much stole Hammerhead's drive for for the uh for cash. And she sneaks off as two uh Hammerhead thugs go into the safe to see what's up. And that's when you know, Hammerhead contacts them and tells them about the contacts them. And they tell Hammerhead about the uh the hard drive being taken away. To which Hammer replies that they've set it up bombs at Felicia's place and has a tracker on one of the hard drives. So realizing this, Spider Man decides to go to try to stop Felicia. And it doesn't matter how fast he swung, by the time he gets there Felicia opens the door and an explosion happens, looking like supposedly killing her. And yeah, that's pretty, that sucks a bit. So pretty much Spider-Man feels guilty for not saving her. And you know, as the, with the epilogue, Peter is with MJ and he tells her about what happened. And, well, of course, of course, before that, she, while Spidey is swinging, he tells MJ that, her, that Felicia never had a son and that she pl tr played him again. So, yeah. But either way, the DLC story, again, I'm not, again, I was not good at explaining it. I, and I'm, I'm sure I missed details, so I apologize for that. It's been a while since I've played the heist. So yeah, that's pretty much the story. As best as I can uh, <clears throat> um, tell you guys about it. But now, let's move on to the uh, the crime missions. First of all, there are bombs under cars that you need to stop. And Screwball's back, which is not a surprise there with some new t challenges. Which are, I'm guessing right now, pretty much Screwball's challenges are similar to Taskmaster's challenges in uh, the main game. Or in the heist, I mean. And they're pretty, they're pretty lame, actually. They're, they are lame. So I was not, I was just not happy with it. But either way, <clears throat> if Screwball makes a comeback like being released from jail and that sucks which again just to tell you guys now she does appear in both in uh turf force and silver lining and that sucks but either way i'll get to i'll get to when i do turf wars and silver lining but anyway the two screwball challenges not interesting at all they're pretty lame they're just copy-pasted versions of Taskmaster challenges, which I wish Insomniac brought back Taskmaster instead. Not only is he a much better character, but you can actually you actually fought him twice in the main game. So yeah, so so new crimes happening. Um, Screwball with her new challenges and three new suits that you can get, and they're actually lame. I mean, the first one is the resilient suit, which is not a, it's just, which is an, another Insomniac original design, and I'm not really a fan of how it looks. The next one is, is the Spider UK suit, and it just looks bland. I'm sorry, guys, but the Spider UK suit suit is just bland looking. It's not appealing. The only suit that's you know actually the only good suit that's in this DLC is the Scarlet Spider Two suit, and that suit looks that's the only good suit in the. DLC, which, well, yeah, 
that's the only good suit. The Spider, Sp the Scarlet Spider Two suit is the only good one that came out of the DLC. The other two just suck. But yeah, um. By the way, that's pretty much all I can say about the heist DLC. You know about the the main story and the features it has. Again, I was not good at explaining this. Again, I apologize. I'm I already said I'm not scripted, so because I'm not scripted, I am tend to mess up. I I do tend to mess up actually. I tend to pause, stutter, and so yeah. But anyway, guys, that's pretty much it for this for part two. Part three will be coming. Don't know when, but. <clears throat> Part 3 will come, but either way guys, I hope you enjoyed this video review, I hope you enjoyed part 2 of the Spider-Man PS4 game review, and I'll catch you all later. See ya.